Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. This is the CCS811 air quality monitor, which is very easy to use. Measures CO2, carbon dioxide and volatile organic compounds in the atmosphere. It's an ultra low power digital gas sensor. Quite easy to add to your Arduino ESP projects. Here is the board. This, in this case is the lower cost board. I'll show you a more expensive one later. It has the sensor. VCC 3.3 volts. Ground. I2C clock and data. A wake pin, which is more accurately called an enable pin or N wake. So it has to be low to enable the device. An interrupt pin, which goes low when a reading is complete. Don't need to use that. Uh, a reset pin and an address pin. The reset when low resets the device and address changes between 5A and 5B. Hexadecimal 5A and 5B. Here's uh, an identical board. So the one on the left cost me £4. The one on the right costs 12 but they're the identical sensor uh, with the addition of a 5 volt regulator so V in 5 volt 3.3 volt ground data clock wake N wake that's correctly labeled N reset and N interrupt so that denotes goes low when those events take place or to enable it wake you put the pin low same board same sensor three times the cost does the same task here's the unit running carbon dioxide in parts per million total volatile organic compounds in parts per billion and temperature there you see the Increase in carbon dioxide as I blew onto the sensor. And then you see it returning back to normal. This is the generic wiring diagram. Um, host process and connections, I2C connections. The important point is that end wake must be low, either controlled through a GPIO port or permanently wired low. GPIO port enables minimum power consumption. You just turn the device on when needed. So here I'm depicting that end wake is pulled low all the time, pulled to ground and the device is permanently enabled. These are the typical wiring diagrams and I'll put that onto GitHub for the UNO. Uh, ESP8266 or ESP32 so I2C bus wiring and wake is permanently tied to ground. So what does it do? So it's ultra low power digital gas sensor measures conveniently measures um, equivalent CO2 and equivalent total volatile organic compounds in those following ranges, typically 400 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere. Not necessarily in a room though. Uh, you can check the current CO2 level in the for the world, typically about 408 parts per million. But if you get into a sealed room or you get a lot of people in the room, that CO2 level can quickly rise and your sensor will show you that rise taking place. For VOCs, typically paint, paint strippers, wood preservatives, all manner of aerosol, propellants, building materials, office equipment. Um, so that reading in parts per billion will climb when you, when it detects those gases in or organic compounds in the atmosphere that it's monitoring. 
Uh, so in summary then the device is, provides a really quick and easy means of reading CO2 and VOC, detecting harmful atmospheric conditions, easy to integrate into say a weather display and can be used as a home environment monitor. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.